Welcome everybody to Pinoy Crossover. Kumusta kayo lahat? This is the basketball show for the Filipino community. Joining us is a special guest. We got Clyde. You know, we got the franchisee of Max's. We got <laughs> the person that used to be in the basketball scene before he got really busy with business, a mentor of all Filipinos. Thank you for being on the show, Clyde. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate, uh, appreciate your time and efforts. Appreciate the time being here as well. I'm very excited. I know for a fact that we always see each other in the gym and you mm. keep on bugging me and say, hey, Clyde, when are you going to come to the show? I say, hey, here I am. Now's the time. That, that's what finally it's about. Finally happened. That's what it's about. <laughs> All that LA fitness run into finally paid exactly. off. And we got yeah. some swag. He brought us some swag. We'll talk about that in the next segment. But, you know, our hosts are here, JR. Looking fresh with What's the up, all guys? black, and we got Marky Mark with the all scarf. Black too. I think you can see. All black. You can't really see the scarf because it's, it's matching. Yeah, it's well. matching with the. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Get the scarf on. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but let's jump right into it. Let's talk about Clyde and his involvement with basketball and basketball in his life. So let's just talk about from the first. What, like, how did you start playing basketball, or what did basketball mean to you? Man, basketball was everything to mm. me. It was like. A marriage, an unbroken marriage, where <laughs> I first fell in love with the sport when I was seven years old. I can mm. imagine the time when I was back in the Philippines, and I was born in the Philippines, mm. actually, where I first started Milo Bess. Mm. So uh, you know, I went to school at Claret. We had what we called intramurals. And next thing you know, as a matter of fact, I was playing two sports at one time, soccer and it's basketball. And, you know, it's funny because I was in the soccer team, but I was never in the basketball team. So mm. when I started to join intramurals, intramurals in basketball, I was about five foot five. And back in the day, when I was, at, you know, when you're five foot five, you're either playing center or power forward. Mm -hmm. And it was a thick five foot. <laughs> and I was just talking about just eating a lot five, of pandesal. You know, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I was, I was running around. I was like a sandwich, yeah. you know? yeah. <laughs> and, and and you know, people used to tease me. and goes, you know, well, you know, this guy doesn't know how to play ball because he starts running around. And, mm. But the soccer thing in me started pushing, started. Uh, losing weight mm. over time yeah. started to feel like I need that cardio, I mm. need that run. So over time, I developed, I fell in love with the game. And uh, I, going back to Milo Bess, I started to put effort in terms of dribbling. And back in the day, you know what, uh, comparing for me today, mm -hmm. my game was so much different. Yeah. I would post up. Uh, as a five foot five, yeah. my coach used to tell me, well, you're a center, might as well post up. So mm -hmm. I started posting up, you know, I started doing the elbows, the blocking <laughs> in, all those type of stuff. So Getting positioned, yeah. Shots. yeah. You know, there was, was never a fade away mm -hmm. because it was just simple move. Mm -hmm. One spin, Barkley style, yeah. boom, bang it, get a basket. Mm -hmm. So that was our mentality as as you know, in a very old school way. Mm. Shorts was all the way here and yeah, just like you know, <laughs> playing around. <laughs> very old school, yeah. man. That's very like, old school. You don't yeah. even have compressions, like quarter line compressions. Yeah, yeah, right. It was just like, okay, hey man, like, hey, like, do I really need to wear this? It's like wearing an underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but, but hey, you know, that like uh, basketball has taught me how um, how to grind inside. Mm. So as I get older, when I moved to Canada, yeah. my game changed. Mm -hmm. And I had to change with it because coming here, playing against tall guys, bigger guys, more athletic guys, you know, um, I really started developing my game from a seven-year-old to 10-year-old and said to myself, mm -hmm. well, uh, coming to a new country and, you know, really be, be gelling with, 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 uh, with everybody, mm -hmm. It's like, hey, you know what? I gotta diversify my game. Mm -hmm. I gotta learn how to shoot. I gotta learn how to slash. I gotta learn how to do layups. And I was having that mindset of always the underdog mentality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because just to backtrack, I would play it till one o'clock, three o'clock, just at nighttime, you know. I'd bring my, my brothers to me at the park uh -huh. and say, hey, you know what? Because we have, uh, you know, a time frame where when we first landed, we can't even sleep because for a month because yeah. of the, time. Oh, the jet lag, right? Yeah. The jet lag, right? So I remember at one o'clock, two o'clock, we were just at the park shooting hoops, mm -hmm. right? We were at the park. I was boxing out my younger, uh, I was boxing out my younger brother, yeah. and it was trying to teach him some things, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, just you know, just to resonate that, um, the ball, ball, basketball in Canada has been, you know, now, now, and in. 
from back in the day was so much different. It taught mm -hmm. me a lot of things. It mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. taught me how to grind inside and you know, just taught me how to shoot, just start yeah. slash, and then over time just developed that skill set. You mentioned that uh, you know soccer and basketball was the two sport that you played. Oh yeah. What made you feel like you know when there was a moment in time maybe that you had the basketball was maybe the the thing that you really wanted to pursue as opposed to soccer? Was there a time in your life when you're like, basketball is what I wanted? Of course, yeah. of course. And, yeah. and it's because of the competitiveness, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You look at two different types of sport, yeah. and then you look at soccer where, man, you got to do endurance all the time. You got to mm -hmm. keep running, keep yeah. running. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, back in, in, in my days where I had to be a striker, but yeah. I had to go to a, be, becoming a goaltender. Yeah. So it was different between being a striker, just being in the goal, and mm. yeah. just like hand, uh, and then just being there and just looking to or towards a, a, a protecting yeah. your, your goal. But for a basketball standpoint, it was so different. Competitiveness is very different as well. That's true, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Physicality is very different, mm -hmm. right? When you come in days where uh, I'm pretty sure you guys interviewed people from the Philippines, they mm -hmm. always say, "Man, I go back home, it's very physical." Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I come here, it's all skill sets, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I, and, and, you know, likewise, when I talk to people, hey, here in the Philippines, when we don't care if you're small, we don't care if you're fast, we got to try to hit you. Yeah. You got to hit back. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah that's true. Kind of scenario, true. right? So, comes with the gritness. Like, you yeah, have exactly. to have that toughness.